All right, how's everyone doing? I am Rich Chalenza. Thanks for checking out my show. So what I want to talk about today is forgiveness and how people, I think, to move forward a lot of times, need to learn how to forgive. And I know sometimes it's really hard, you know, to forgive others for what they've done to you in your past. I'm just telling you. I also think a lot of people do not realize, you know, in a situation where they don't want to forgive someone, but they have in turn done the same thing to someone else or they have others that are not forgiving them that they wish they had been you know, forgiven as well. I also think a lot of times when it comes to forgiveness, one of the things that destroys a lot of people that I know is them not forgiving themselves for what they've done to others. You know, personally carrying that around, that baggage, that stress, a lot of anxiety, the embarrassment of maybe things you've done in your past. It could be in relationships. It could be what you've done to your parents. It could be what you've done to your siblings. It could be husband, wives, boyfriend. I mean, the whole thing goes on and on and on. No one, I think, is perfect. Now, I also get, because I've been in these situations where somebody has done something extremely, extremely, I can't even tell you, something bad that has altered your life, destroyed your life maybe, Um, we had a, I'll just bring it up real quick. We had a store, my, we owned a company and we had a store and a close friend of some of our closest friends, uh, worked with us. And one of the girls there got stabbed and got killed at our location. And if you, I don't, you never think stuff like that's going to happen to you. And not only did she get murdered, but I was, her father was like my grandfather was like another grandfather me. And it not only devastated that entire family, but her husband, her kids, him, his wife, uh, everybody, everybody involved. It really, we were never the same either. After that happened, I swear to you, it was like when you have life altering things like that. And, you know, we watch a lot of that stuff on Dateline 2020, you know, whatever it is when you hear somebody gets murdered and all that stuff. Like I said, you know, you just kind of watch that stuff in the news. But then when you're put into that situation, it is very very hard to forgive somebody who does that to someone that you love. I still cannot forgive that person. I'll be very honest with you. I do think there's levels. Now, I had to get to the point where I couldn't carry the anger around because it really, really upset me for a long period of time. What's interesting is the murderer ended up going to jail. He was on a lot of drugs, sobered up, figured out what he did, not only to her, but some other women. And I think he, from the stress, he died of a heart attack or a stroke at a very, very young age. And, um, you know, regardless, that doesn't relieve anything for me. You know, a lot of times you think, oh, if this person, you know, now that he murdered somebody, he needs to be murdered or he needs to suffer. I get it. Uh, But that's extreme. But I, I just wanted to throw that out there because I do think sometimes out there people do things, maybe not to that level, but a lot of things. They can wreck marriage again. They may have stolen a lot of money from you, lied on you, cheat. And usually, let's face it, it's the people that you're closest to because the ones that you're not close to aren't going to have the opportunity to do this. But again, I think there are probably so many people, and maybe I'm wrong, out there that you may have lost relationships with. Again, it could be friends, family members, whatever the case may be. You may have gotten arguments. You may have done things to each other. But I think at the end of the day, you may miss them. You may love them still. It may be time to go ask for forgiveness. I'm just saying. Or, um, you know, or you could ask for forgiveness or you need to maybe forgive yourself. Because I also think a lot of times we may do something and we may think it's horrible and we drag it on for weeks, months, years, whatever the case may be. And we think this, we're carrying all this around, but then if we go talk to whoever we thought we, you know, did something incorrectly to, we have a discussion with them and it really wasn't as bad as you thought it was. It a lot of times wasn't worth even losing a relationship over. And I think this happens with a lot of exes because I do a lot of, I try to help people in relationships a lot of times when they get divorced, let's say, or bad breakups, uh, And I think a lot of people, for the most part, you know, after they break up with somebody, usually one is hurt more than the other a lot of times, or somebody did something to the other. We get it. Uh, But I think a lot of times if, you know, you're, you're carrying that baggage around that you hurt this person or that person hurt you, I think in time going to talk to them about these things 
is could be one of the best things that's ever happened to you because it'll teach you a lot about yourself and them. We don't know a lot of times when other people say do something to us where we feel betrayed. We don't a lot of times know what they're going through. I'm not saying they deserve a pass, but also a lot of times you may have done something to someone else where they don't know where you were coming from at that point in time. So it kind of goes both ways. But I just wanted to do a quick podcast on this because forgiveness is such a big part of life. And a lot of people I see as they age and get older, they, they have horrible relationships. And a lot of these relationships are with their siblings or their parents or some of their oldest and closest friends. They lose these relationships. And I, it kind of breaks my heart where is, is it worth losing these relationships? I don't think so. If I'm in my latter part of my life, I hope I'm not fighting with my children, let's just say. I hope I'm not fighting with my cousins. I hope that I'm not going to pass away with all this anger towards one another or people that I refuse to forgive and they refuse to forgive me. All these things, I kind of want to go out with a clean slate. But I want to do that now. I don't want to wait. You know, I, if, if I have, if someone has a problem with me, please address it with me. I talk about it all the time. And if I have a problem with anyone, I can assure you most likely I'll go out and try to talk to them. That doesn't mean that I don't lose connections with people. But I, just because somebody doesn't talk to me anymore and we just went our separate ways doesn't mean I don't still love them and I, didn't, I, uh, I don't appreciate what they've done for me in the past. But that's not what I'm talking about. I'm really talking about people that have um, carry a lot of anger around in past relationships, I think. And like I said, just forgiving them is almost impossible. When, you know, as time went on, I think one of the things people need to do is forgive one another and themselves. So that's all I got for you regarding that. If you got any questions or comments, please feel free to hit me up. I'm at rich at richcholenza.com. Uh, my website's richcholenza.com. And I know sometimes my podcasts go, you know, off the beaten trail because sometimes, or for the most part, I talk a lot now about relationships, anti-aging, health and wellness, fashion, fitness, but not forgiving, you know, each other. The stress, I think also, it, it just, it destroys people. I really do. I think it, it just it just really ages people as well. And it also, you know, the attitude that they have and it changes their personality and it you know, always being upset or mad about what others have done to you in your past and blaming others year after year for the situation you're in and all these things, you gotta learn how to move on. There is no other way. All right. Take care and I wish you all nothing but the best.